I'm Mahfuza Mukhtar. I'm from the Faculty of Engineering. Currently, I'm a lecturer in the Department of Computer and Communication Systems Engineering. Um, I have been teaching a few numbers of courses, including electric circuit analysis. For this innovation of teaching and learning, what I have done is actually based on the active learning theory where it encourages students to participate actively in class. Um, we believe that with the active learning, the students can have a good motivation and inspiration of doing things um, based on the learning outcomes set by the lecturer. Okay, the, the innovation that I have done is uh, in this class of electrical circuit analysis um, is by turning the class from the conventional class into a game show program where I integrate the Kahoot as the online quiz where it is actually uh, implemented um, so that students can answer the questions in group and after that, for the, that is for the first round and for the second round, we will select the best two groups um, to be uh, entered to the second round where they will have to fight each other um, in the manner of like, just like um, a program of millionaire who wants to be a millionaire. So instead of having a game show of who wants to be a millionaire, have uh, tried to convert the class into a game show what we call it as uh, who wants to be a billionaire program okay so that's the um, uh, about the motivation about the innovation uh, this innovation can be applied either we can have it in class or we can also have it actually outside of the class as well um, what I have done is actually in the class uh, where in that, uh, in that um, situation or set up uh, we have invited um, quite a, a photographers uh, we, where we set the class in such a way that the students experience um, a game show just like what they can have it like in a reality TV show. So uh, what we can apply for this innovation is actually first, uh, of course, the recipe is to have a piece of determination uh, and motivation on how we can start it with the program. So for the first thing that we need to have is first what is the learning outcome or the objective that we want to know that our students uh, to have. So in this innovation, um, I try to embed the teamwork spirit among the students and at the same time, I try to have a formative assessment where in the quiz or in that game show, we can actually uh, see how much the students have learned in their basic uh, cognitive domain. So from this application, we use the Kahoot, uh, that is one of the options that we can use. Other than that, we can also use um, maybe other type of online quiz. And after that, we can also have a conventional uh, quiz where in this case, I just use a PowerPoint and we just uh, need to have uh, some pieces of paper to demonstrate um, or to show the scores that the students can pick, uh, just like in the program of uh, Who Wants to Be a Million. So with the more um, higher score, of course, they will risk for uh, more difficult questions. So that's how actually we can apply uh, this innovation in the class. Or maybe if the other lecturers want to have it outside of the class, it will be more assignment for them to have it um, more enjoyable outside of the class as well. Okay, of course the inspiration um, from, I think, um, among all other educators out there as well, the motivation is of course, the ultimate aim is to have our students to obtain the learning outcomes that they need to have. So, uh, one of the learning outcomes that uh, we need to provide the students is how they can become a good teamwork member or a team member. So, based on this motivation, um, I have tried to apply quite few of techniques. Um, instead of having this game show program, I also have created a few uh, videos on how to motivate the students. Uh, that is uh, how we can actually uh, provide
provide the learning outcomes solution for the courses. Alright, the challenges um, always actually normally come from the starting point. Um, to me, when you want to start this such kind of um, innovation or approach that is um, not our routine in our class, it would be more difficult uh, from the starting point. So uh, I found that it might be quite challenging for me to create or to imagine how the class will look like um, during the program. So it needs to have a quite uh, imagination and also a lot of searching on how we can make the class more assignment or more enjoyable during the game show. So that is the first one, is the starting point. Okay. And the second point is to me the challenges is more on how we can inculcate the inspiration and motivation to students in realizing our learning outcome. Of course for acquiring or for obtaining the teamwork skills it's not as easy just like we um, educating or teaching them the cognitive skill. So it must be a continuous um, process, it's not just a one off process. So um, to me the challenge is more on how to first inspire and also to motivate them, uh, especially for the first year students that we teach here. For the teaching delivery that I use in this course, especially on the electrical circuit analysis, we depends, of course, on the learning outcomes that have been set to us. Okay, for this course, the learning outcomes are first um, to uh, for students to be able to analyze the circuits. Okay, based on a few techniques given in the class or in the topics. And the second objective uh, is how they can identify techniques on how to solve the problems in circuit analysis. And the third objective or outcome is to inculcate the teamwork for students to solve the problems in group. Okay, so based on all these three outcomes, I need to uh, think on how the teaching delivery can um, realize or obtain these learning outcomes. So for the first and second, uh, for the first one on how to um, have students to be able uh, to, to solve problems, uh, to analyze the circuit analysis is more on the cognitive domain. So I have done that more on the in the lecture and for the second one is how they can solve the problems uh, actually based also on not only the cognitive domain uh, but also on the psychomotor domain. So I have done that in the project where we can uh, when we give them the uh, problem based learning, uh, the task for problem based learning and they also did that in the lab as well for the experiment and for the third one is uh, based on how we can um, have students to be able to work in group uh, is more on the affective domain. So I try to uh, use this concept of turning in our class. Okay. Um, the concept that I actually try to um, invent in this uh, innovation of teaching and learning is based on three components where I call it as inspiration, motivation and also action. Okay, all these three components can be done not in series but we can do it in any other ways as well as long as we can embed or integrate all these elements. Okay, for example, the inspiration where it is a process of being mentally stimulated towards good teamwork. So, as an example, uh, I actually have uh, created uh, videos and also used some existing videos to inspire students so that they can have a um, stimulated um, process on being mentally stimulated process on how they can become a good team member and after that we can also have a motivation element where I also use the Padlet where in that Padlet students are given um, 
the chance on how they can actually what are the elements that they should have to become a good team member so that they can have a desire how to be a best the best uh, team member and also we can see their action okay where this is on how we can do that like in the get game show program as well and from there we can actually see uh, how they can actually perform or express their uh, teamwork skill okay through the action program and that is what we call it as IMAC. Okay, I for inspiration and for motivation and back for action. Now this is the video that I have created uh, in class just after that game show program to to give them a continuous inspiration and motivation towards the teamwork. Okay, what we can see uh, from this video. Okay, um, there are actually. Uh, I have to actually try to give that attention first uh, with this um, video, okay, from the Home Alone video and expression, and try to bring their um, inspiration for their mind, okay, and their feeling, okay, on how they can actually um, be inspired to be a good team member. So I give them this uh, picture so that they can feel the sense of belonging as well where they are actually parts of the class. They can actually be, they can be uh, actually the best team uh, member in their group as well. So the wording that I use in this video is just to create their attention and their mind that what they actually learn in class not only on the cognitive parts, not only the knowledge on how they need to analyze the circuit, but what they actually learn best is actually on how they can become a good member. So that is part of the learning outcome that we need to inspire them, which is all about the teamwork. Okay? So this is just a part of the video that I gave them in the class. Okay, as I mentioned that the continuous learning or continuous um, inspiration and motivation is important. I also give them this video um, so that they can actually uh, get the memory or the uh, best pictures on what they actually have uh, gone through uh, during the process of that game show. Okay, of course. Uh, this memory or these pictures or captures can give them more last lost last lost memory for them to remember that oh they are actually part of this team okay they have actually fun um, experience throughout the process so uh, that will actually create more uh, assignment or more for them so that after this when we give them the real project they can actually um, use whatever the motivation that they have the spirit of a good team member to be applied in their project as well okay